Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my office and I'm looking out on a bright sunny end of May day and it's time to start setting up my planner for the month of June. So grab your planners and let's get started setting up for the next month and welcome to my office. <music> So I have my Erin Condren undated weekly focused planner here in my folio and this is in the color Lagoon I believe and I will have everything linked below so feel free to check that out if you're looking for specifics. So what I've been doing and this has been working well is I've been keeping my meal planner from Erin Condren in here so that continues to just travel along with me. I still need to set up uh, this coming week and think about a meal plan. But I also have my Erin Condren weekly focused undated planner in here. And then I have the cover from One Canoe 2 that I've put on there. So let's go ahead and jump into the month of June. And June is my birthday month, so that's always kind of fun to be thinking about. As you can see, what I've done so far is just to quickly jot in the dates, and this is using my friction pen, which means it's erasable. So what I'm gonna do to start off with is go through and erase those handwritten numbers and use some sticker numbers to put in the dates. And I'm going to try to keep with a black, white, and pearl gray theme this month. And that, of course, is according to my personal month number from my Louise Hay Colors and Numbers book. And again, I'll have some videos linked below that talk about more of that system and why I use it, as well as all the supplies listed down below too. So let's get started with that. Okay, now that I have my main monthly grid set up, and you can see I decided to do the outlining first and then go back in with my numbers. Next, I'm going to add just a label for the month. And I was kind of toying around with either just something simple like this little black and white box. And of course, I have some stickers. So these are from the Happy Planner. I'm thinking I might use that June one or maybe that larger one. But then I also kind of like having just a little bit of a floral theme. So, but I do think this one actually fits better on the page. So let's go with the black and white, see how we like that. And these are just a little post-it type flag. So I am gonna put some adhesive tape down and that way this should, I feel like I need something under it just in case. That should help this stick. And I feel like I always do better with a tweezers to help me line things up. And I do like how you can kind of see that gray box. I think I'm just gonna pull it down. And on second thought, I'm gonna get one without that little mark on it just because I know that's gonna bug me. So let's try this again. Okay, I think that will work. And then I'm gonna use this larger font here for June. That should fit in there nicely. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna highlight over that notes column. I thought about maybe trying to find a sticker, but I'm feeling like I just wanna get it done. <laughs> so we'll do that. And I had seen, so this is my sticker binder and I'll link the video below where I talk more about how I made this and it's been continuing to work well and I love having it. And I remember there was a really cool sticker in here from, these are Boho Berry stickers from the Boho Berry box, which is I don't think available anymore, but 
It was fun to get while I could. So I think this one will work nicely right down here. I may have to trim it down a little. Let's do that. There, I think that works nicely. And I am going to just use my little gray marker here and color in that signpost just because I feel like it. <laughs> just to add that little pop of gray. There. And I also saw this little compass and I thought this was cute. My theme for the month of June is going to be intuition. That's my keyword. And my affirmation is I listen to the inner voice of wisdom. So I feel like these little signposts and north compass um, image are cute for that. So I think we're going to put that one right there. And I might leave it at that until I maybe get a little further into things if I decide there's something else that would work well on that page. So then the next page is going to be where I have my goals and projects for the month, my affirmation, and then my information from my Louise Hay Colors and Numbers book will go here for the month. So let's set that up now. Okay, now I have the goals page for the month set up as well as my personal month information and my affirmation. I think I'll look to see if I can find a little sticker that might work down there. I think this will work just fine. And that kind of finishes off that page. And back here on my monthly setup page, I did remember that I want to add my zone cleaning. So as you know, I follow the Fly Lady system and I have a video where I talk more about the zone cleaning system and the video even has some free printables you can use if you want to use that for setting up your zone cleaning checklist. So I'll link that down below. So for me, the zone one is going to be this first week which will be the entry. Zone two for me is the kitchen. Zone three is master bedroom suite. Zone four <laughs> is my daughter's bedroom. And zone five, that last week of the month, is the living room. So that just reminds me of my zone cleaning for the month. And it's a pretty simple setup so far, but I'm liking just the basic black and white. And then there's a little bit of pizzazz here and there. And I think I will go ahead and set up this first week of the month with you as well, so we can get that started. And since this week will combine the end of May and the beginning of June, I'm going to use the two different colors that coordinate so that I have a visual reference. So for me, the month of May, I've used red. So we'll put that here. So it's going to be May 30th. To June. 
fifth. And I decided I'm going to use my 0.7 friction pen just to go back and darken up these lines a little bit. And then also to add my labels here. And then let's add the zone cleaning information. So the first couple of days will be zone one. No, zone five, which will be the living room. And then the second half of the week will be zone one, the entry. And I do have a video that will be coming out on Tuesday the 31st, and it's actually starting off with Zone 1, doing a little tiny tidy, so be on the lookout for that. And even though it's technically the last day of May and it's a Zone 5 day, I wanted to go ahead and get it out there on that Tuesday. And for the rest of you watching, that'll just give you some motivation to get your Zone 1 cleaning done throughout the rest of the week. So there we have my June setup in my Erin Condren Focused Undated Weekly Planner. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that gave you a little motivation or just someone fun to listen to while you were planning your own month and setting up your own planner. It's always fun to think we're doing this together. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.